Okay, um, so the missing transistors were these two here. Now I looked at the um, uh, parts list and these are called out to be 2N3053s. That was a very, very common uh, transistor back in the day. They were TO5 CAN transistors and those TO5 CAN transistors were missing. Now. I looked in my bin. I would have thought that I would have. I would have had a big store of uh, of 3053s because they were so common. But I just don't have any, and the local store doesn't have any either, which really shocks me as well. They, I figured they would have a big pile of them. Um, I can buy them, but um, I looked at the specifications for the part, and um, it does. I think it's a 700 milliamp part, and it has pretty good power dissipation though because it's in a big TO5 can. Um, so I looked at the uh, uh, where they're being used and is that camera's going to be washed out here isn't it? Let me change this. Oops. There we go. Um, so uh, this is one of the transistors here. It's an NPN and it's driving this transistor. And it's kind of suspicious that they're both being used in exactly the same place in the uh, circuit. This one is driving this, and this one is driving that, and they're, they're, these two are, are basically identical. So basically these were pulled out um, it, at the identical locations, and what they did was they disabled these two voltages. So these, these two, um, let me zoom out here, uh, these two sections here, have their own uh, bridge rectifiers and everything. And this one generates minus uh, 12 and a half, and this one generates minus 75. Um, and so I looked at different data sheets and everything, and I came to the conclusion that um, I might be able to get away with a 2N2222A. A, a 2N2222A is a 7 or 800 milliamp part. Um, but it doesn't have as much power dissipation, but I'm looking at how they're used in the circuit, and I don't think power dissipation would be an issue in this circuit. But I figured I've got nothing to lose because I've got a whole bunch of those, and I could just see if they run hot. I'll go ahead and order some, some other ones, um, the official ones, but uh, I thought I'd give it a go. So, um, okay, now I need to change my camera again so you guys can see what's going on here. All right, so... Um, I've put in the, uh, the two transistors here, and I, I uh, clipped a ground lead on, and I went to measure those two rails, the minus 12 and a half and the minus 75, and um, two things happened. The first thing that happened was I heard a click. So some relay clicked, which I'd never heard before, and um, I did measure 12 and a half and 75. And I thought, wow, you know, maybe, maybe it's doing something now, okay? So, uh, let, me, let me rearrange things. Uh, so, here's the power switch. And uh, I turned the power switch on. You hear, did you hear the click? I don't know if my, uh, if my microphone uh, uh, picked that up or not. Um, and uh, I went to measure some voltages. And then... Now it's not going to do it. Uh, so this light came on. And, oh, oh, do you see it? Uh, let's see here, horizontal position. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> wow! I'm getting a, uh, I'm getting a uh, spot on the, on the uh, screen. What do you say? Uh, I never expected the CRT to be good, and I never expected the high voltage section to be good. I figured those were the two things that were not going to be repairable on this on this machine. And I'm getting a trace, which means I should be able to fix this thing. Um, so maybe we should put a transistor in it and give it a try. I'm super, super excited. Um, let's see here. We've got, uh, we can pull this one out. We'll use this one. Um, Danger, danger. Okay, a step generator, uh, left side, that'll be here. And we have voltage here. 
So we'll put it up here, say at 20 volts. Um, and max voltage here. This switch doesn't quite work. Kind of, I'll just, yeah, this, this, this switch isn't, isn't working right. So yeah, let me get a transistor. All right. Well, um, I can't get it to display a curve yet, but it does do some things that are encouraging. One is that if I turn up the collector voltage, I have a, an LED in here now. Um, and if I turn up the, uh, uh, I don't know if the camera picks that up, but this lights up. I can light up the LED. Okay, so the LED is the LED is getting bright as I increase the uh, current or the uh, voltage over here. All right, and um, the other thing is as I increase the voltage, the the spot moves up and off the top. Um, I haven't been able to figure out how to do ranging of this thing to make everything stay stay in the middle. Um, I can move things up and down. Um, so I can move, move that up and down. I can move this side to side. So that works. Um, but I'm not quite sure how all the knobs work. Uh, the vertical here, uh, I have set to step gen. This one I have a step gen. Uh, I don't think it's sweeping. Um, so that just might be a dead cap someplace. Um, and to, uh, to be completely honest, I don't know how to use this thing. <laughs> um, it seems as though the last time I used one of those things, everything worked fine and it seemed obvious at the time, but now that I've got one in front of me, it doesn't seem so obvious. So I'm going to have to, uh Oh, Oh, I have time. To, it's okay. My, um, uh, I had this on a 30 minute timer just in case. Um, so I think this thing is going to work someday. Um, I need to fi fix this. Uh, it's falling inside. Um, I need to open that up and somehow the plastic rod, there's a, a bezel cap that held this in place and that, that just rotted off. So I need to hold that in somehow. Um, and then I need to figure out how all the buttons work. But uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think this thing might come to life someday. I'm very encouraged.